Hi there. The physical handling of items shipped from the company warehouses can be managed and recorded in different ways, depending on the level of warehouse management features being utilized within Financials for Office 365. In this video, we'll follow the most simplest steps to give you an overview of where you can start. With warehouse shipments, you prepare shipments requested by source documents. When your warehouse is set up to require shipment processing with warehouse documents. If your location requires PIC processing, you can create PIC instructions by shipment. Or you can release shipment lines to the PIC worksheet, where you can plan a more effective PIC round for a number of shipments. When employees have picked all the items, you can finish preparing the shipment and then post it. Let's first see the creation of a warehouse shipment from a sales order and explore the features within this warehouse process. Usually you can search and view warehouse shipments in the universal search function if you've been set up as a warehouse employee. If you are unfamiliar with how to be set up as a warehouse worker, watch the set up a warehouse employee video from the link in the description. Since we are in the Warehouse Manager Role Center, we can choose Warehouse Shipments from the Navigation pane or the Activity Tiles on the dashboard. Let's go to a sales order and create a warehouse shipment directly. This sales order has been assigned to the Red Warehouse location. This location re requires shipment of goods and nothing else. In the Lines table, we can see that there is five goods to be shipped. To create a warehouse shipment, go to the ribbon and select the action. Back at the Role Center, we can see the warehouse shipment. Warehouse shipments can be created by the method we just underwent or manually here. With the warehouse shipments we create, we see the general information first. If the receipt is for a specific zone or bin code, in which the program will request you pick the items that are about to be shipped. On the right is the sorting method, which organizes the order of the warehouse shipment lines, stating the order of goods to be processed. Underneath the lines table is the shipping details, including the shipping agent code and the shipping agent service. Both are not carried over from the source documents because one sh warehouse shipment can contain lines from many source documents. The external document is not a mandatory field either, as a default, but can be made one in the sales and receivables setup. If you are populating the warehouse shipment, multiple shipments to the customer, use the Get Source Documents feature in the ribbon. This suggests all shipments due from this location. Once you are satisfied the shipment of the goods is up to your required standards and expectations, you can, like so. A negative item ledger entry is created reflecting the posted sales shipment. If you have any questions while using financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a window-specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or a column, click on the heading and select help like so. And that's how you use the warehouse shipment document within Financials for Office 365.